Hello, today I'm going to show you a quick trick so that you can create a free infographic poster for your assignments using your student email address. The first thing you need to do is to go to spark.adobe.com. I will link this below. Once you go to spark.adobe.com, you need to sign in and then over here to the right you will notice that you have a, an option to log in with school account. Click that. Once you choose this option, type in your school account and hit continue. And then if your school is set up with Google, it'll ask you to continue with Google. Just hit continue with Google. Select your school account again and then agree to the update terms of use. Once you do this, now you have a free account with Adobe Spark. It'll take you through a tour. If you want to go through that, that's fine. But what we want to do is we want to create a free infographic. So I'm going to go up here and search and type infographic. And then it takes you to this page here. Now, if you notice, some of these infographics have this little orange tab to the right. That means that you have to pay to get those. We want to stay away from that. This is how to make a free infographic. And if you look through here, there are tons of templates here. Okay, so let's just choose one of the first ones here. Let's choose, let, let's choose this one as an example. So we want to edit this template. Okay, so here's our infographic. Now we can change to a different template at this point if we want to. I'm not going to do that, but you can do that if you want to. So if we want to uh, come up here and change any section, we just double click. Hit done. You can see it changes that and we can, that was probably, you know, it's too big for that section there. You can actually come over here it opens up this section over here where you can change the font size so let's make this a little smaller let's make it about 33 then we just resize that however we want to uh, we're going to change our name and again you'll have to place it wherever you want to place it at but you can see it's pretty simple now if you wanted to add a picture let's say um, you just double click this section that you want to change there you can um, change the opacity so it's more see-through if you want to and again you can just kind of go through that change the color if you want to change the color so let's change it to blue for instance which is not going to show up very well of the font but again you can just go through here and, and change as you as you want to now if you want to add any types of your own pictures or anything else you do that here at this point and you can find free photos or you can actually upload a photo from your computer okay so once you are done we're just simply hit download and it asks you what to choose we're going to choose PDF for this because that's generally what you're going to turn in. Okay, and then again, it's going to ask you to save file. Be sure that if you do save file, you know where you're saving it to. I generally, generally like to open the file first in Adobe, and then I can save it. So there's your file in PDF form. I come over here to file and I can save as and choose whatever file I want to save it to. You want to save it to your desktop or downloads, it's usually an easier place to save it or if you have a file created for your class, that way you can easily upload it to your LMS like Blackboard or Canvas. And by the way, this will be saved under your account and you can create another infographic in the future if you want to. This is also a great tool if you want to create icons if you have a YouTube channel or uh, uh, let's
let's say your social media, be sure and play around with this. It's a great tool. A lot of services offer free to students and teachers. So I hope this helps you out in creating your infographic.